Welcome to our new course, the ultimate introduction to Redshift for 3ds Max. We have been working on this course for the past three months and it feels amazing to finally be able to make it available to you guys. It's almost 13 hours of on-demand videos in 70 lessons, covering everything about Redshift for Max, including lighting, shading, cameras, rendering and so on. Every single minute of every single video is planned and thought for. You get the top-notch quality you've come to expect from Mograph Plus. We'll keep the course updated at least for a year after the initial launch, even though we tend to keep our courses updated for much longer. Now, let's go into the specifics of the course. For that, I'll hand it over to Kai. Hi there. We start off the course by introducing Redshift for Max, where to find different Redshift tools and functions, and walk you through the general workflow to get your job done with Redshift. The next section of the course is all about lighting. You learn about the fundamentals of lighting and different lighting techniques, while learning about the vast and unique lighting tools that Redshift offers. We learn about area lights, mesh, spot, directional, IES light, dome light, and image-based lighting. We talk about Redshift sun and sky, you learn how to approach interior and exterior lighting in Redshift for Max. We learn about the amazing volumetric effects in Redshift. I explain how to use Redshift to integrate 3D geometries onto HDR environments or photographic backplates, and much more. In Section 3, we talk about global illumination or indirect lighting. First we learn how light rays work in real world and how Redshift simulates the same behavior using GI. Then we start learning about different GI engines in Redshift, like Brute Force and Irradiance Point. We learn how to use these engines in different lighting scenarios to produce the most realistic lighting possible, the pros and cons of each one, and where to use them. And finally explain how to render flicker-free object animations with GI. In the next section of the ultimate introduction to Redshift for 3DS Max, we start discussing Redshift materials, shaders, and nodes. Not only you learn about all the specific Redshift materials, but after watching this section, you will be equipped with the core shading fundamentals and cutting-edge techniques in shader development. First, we learn about the powerful Redshift material which is capable of creating all sorts of shaders. We dedicated nine in-depth videos to this shader. Then we discover bump, normal, and displacement mapping in Redshift. After that, I will introduce you to a new simplified approach to shader creation. I will show you how to create some of the most daily shaders like plastic, wood, concrete, metals, and so on. You also learn how to create highly realistic human skin shader using the Redshift material. Principal hair shader will be covered in detail. It's an easy to use, yet powerful shader. We'll be covering the robust car paint material as well. Then we learn about material blender, color mix, and composite nodes. Ray switch, shader switch, triplanar, ambient occlusion, curvature, and sprite shaders will be discussed in detail. We also learn about OSL shader, math, conversion nodes, and much more. Hopefully, after watching this section, you should be very comfortable developing complex shaders in Redshift. Then we learn all about cameras, camera types, depth of field, motion blur, and everything that relates to working with cameras in Redshift. First, we learn about the fundamentals of working with cameras and photographic exposure settings in Redshift, then we learn how to get depth of field and motion blur. We learn about different camera types and VR-ready renders in Redshift. We also talk about lens effects, color correction and look of tables. Section 6 of the course is all about rendering with Redshift. We learn all about the fundamentals of image sampling and ray tracing in Redshift. First, we explore how to use the basic mode of the Redshift render settings. Then we discuss automatic and unified sampling. After that, I'll show you how to set up unified sampling practically for a few different scenes to reinforce all the theories we've learned previously. Next, we learn about the differences between bucket and progressive rendering. Then we take a close look at Redshift RT, which is Redshift's near real-time interactive render engine. Then we talk about ACES, a system to manage color in all levels of the production. I will give you an overall understanding of what ACES is and does, how to set it up properly in Redshift, which is really simple as it is the default color management solution in Redshift. Then I share a few examples comparing ACES and the older color manager and show you why ACES is just way better, and finally how to deal with ACES managed renders in post. Then we take an in-depth look at Redshift render view and learn about all of its features. We also cover both optics and Altus denoisers in-depth with a lot of comparative examples. After that, we dive deep into the subject of arbitrary output variables. What are the AOVs that Redshift offers and how to save them out? We talk about custom AOVs, cryptomat workflow, light group AOVs, 
Finally, compositing AOVs in Fusion will be covered, both the famous Back to Beauty composite with the essential AOVs, and the Light Mix composite for relighting purposes in post. We also learn how to deal with caustics in Redshift. The rest of the render settings will be explained as well in a few videos. In the next section, we take a closer look at a few miscellaneous topics like Redshift proxy, object properties, and much more. We also learn about Redshift volume. I show you all the steps you need to render open VDB files in Redshift and how to render amazing and realistic clouds, fire, smoke, and explosions using Redshift. That's it. Thanks, Kai. He will also be narrating the entire course for you. If you want to learn Redshift for 3ds Max, this is the course to get, period. We work really hard on our courses to assure the quality of them, and you get an academically oriented, well-structured course that will take you to the next level of your career as an artist. This is our 20th online course here at MoGraph Plus in the past decade. Thousands of students from around the world have participated in our courses. I invite you to join as well and learn from the best Redshift course available online. So sign up and let's get started.